Hey guys, it's Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my day two of five days of Asian sunscreens. Yesterday I reviewed the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun SPF 50 and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kos RX Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. So if you want to see the unboxing first impression slash review of this, stay tuned. So let's talk about CosRx. This is definitely a brand I have heard of. I think most famously for their snail mucin essence. Um, I actually ordered that off YesStyle and should have it coming in the mail here at some point. But um, this is one of their sunscreens. It's their Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. This or sun cream, excuse me. This is SPF 50 and it's PA plus plus plus. Um, now, if you're unfamiliar with the PA rating, we don't use that here in the US. It's essentially used in other countries to describe how well the sunscreen will protect you from UVA rays. So um, here in the US, we may use terms like broad spectrum, which will ultimately tell you that the sunscreen is going to give you some protection from UVA rays, but we don't have a specific rating scale here in the US that tells you just how well it's protecting you from the UVA rays. Um, I always say to people, UVA rays are the rays that age you and cause wrinkles, and UVB rays, which most sunscreens will protect you from, are the rays that burn you. Um, so a PA rating with three pluses after it is second down from the highest PA rating you can have. The max PA rating is four pluses. So this should have pretty good protection from UVA rays, not to mention it is SPF 50. So again, you're getting that UVB ray protection as well. Um, this sunscreen is supposed to be very lightweight. It's supposed to feel like a moisturizer on the skin. It's not supposed to leave any white cast and it's not supposed to be greasy. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Um, before I do, I just want to show you guys an up close of what the box looks like. And by the way, this is 1.69 fluid ounces and it retails for about $16. So that would be like um, right over $9.50, I think, per fluid ounce, or maybe just under that. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like when you take it out. Really just kind of matches the box, nice and simple, which is kind of a design style I like. It's got a black cap that flips open, and I can see that it has um, a sticky tab over the top, which, again, all of your skincare should always have when you first purchase it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this top back on and I'm gonna squirt it into my hand. So it's so interesting to me. So yesterday, it's kind of the same same situation. Yesterday with the Purito, when I put it onto my hand, I said it's like a very stiff, dense formula, which um, to this extent with Asian sunscreens, I haven't really experienced all that much. A lot of them are much more milky. Um, but the one yesterday, the Purito one, rubbed in like a dream, so I'm hoping that this one will do the same. I'm going to put just a little bit more on my hand there. I'm going to use this amount for my face and neck. Normally, I would put it on my chest, but I'm wearing a t-shirt today. It's, you know, getting colder here where I live. So um, here's again what it looks like up close. Um, it has a little like a hint of a smell, but not really. We'll see if maybe more of a, a smell will come out while I put it on. It kind of just smells like a moisturizer, like an unscented moisturizer. You know how like products will say that they're unscented, but then they always have like a little bit of a scent. Well, yesterday the Purito one literally had no scent, which was the first time I had ever tried a product that was unscented that literally had no scent. Um, the other one, my favorite sunscreen of all time is Suntique. Um, and it is their I'm safe for sensitive skin. And that says it has no scent, but it has that like no scent scent smell. Do you guys know what I'm talking about or no? Maybe I'm just losing my mind. But this is kind of reminding me of like the sun teak. So I'm just gonna rub it in my hands and then apply it to my face. And I am gonna put it right over my eyes kind of to do the eye test to see if it stings. I'm gonna take it all the way down my neck. So this does have a little bit of a florally smell, but it's very subtle, very subtle, but it does have a little bit of a scent. 
so I'm just wanting to rub it in by my eyebrows. I can see that they just look a little bit white right there from this. So in terms of rubbing this sunscreen in, I will say um, just first impressions, it's taking a little bit more to rub it in than you know some of the other Asian sunscreens that I've worked with. Um, but it's looking very nice on the skin. So this, just like the Purito yesterday, I said it really didn't add any additional shine to my face. Um, and this is kind of doing the same thing. But compared to the Purito yesterday, the Purito did not leave like a sticky um, kind of layer on my face at all. This is feeling um, pretty sticky at this point. Um, so whereas with the Purito one, um, I think I just knew immediately that I loved it. This one I, I do think I'm going to like, but I just wanna give it a little bit to dry down to see if I can get rid of kind of like that tacky texture. Um, I will say I just tasted a little bit in my mouth and it's kind of that chemically um, sunscreen smell or taste. Very, very minimal scent, if anything. So, so far there's no white cast. It did rub in nicely, but I'm just having a little bit of that tacky texture. So I'm gonna go um, and let it sit on my skin for about 20 minutes. I'll come back and I'll let you guys know um, if that tacky texture lifted up or if it's still there. So I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, all right. <clears throat> I have had this on my skin now for 20 minutes. And what I will say is it doesn't really have um, a feeling that is as tacky as it was before, but I definitely feel like my skin is ultra hydrated, which is a great feeling. Um, but you know, it is supposed to be very lightweight and just like, you know, kind of feeling like you're wearing a moisturizer. But yesterday I would say the Purito was even more lightweight than this. That being said, I love this sunscreen. I think it's beautiful on the skin. Um, this is probably my, now my third favorite sunscreen I've ever tried. So number one on my list would be the Suntique, I'm safe for sensitive skin. Number two would be the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. And now number three would be this COSRX Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. Sun Cream. So um, again, I think it, it, it kind of gives you that like, glow from within look. It doesn't add grease or anything like that. And it just leaves you with like a very hydrated, bouncy feeling on your skin, which honestly I love and feels feels nice. I'm also an avid tretinone user. And so for me, I you know can tend to have drier skin or peeling and actually my skin is just also dry in general. So I do like a sunscreen that also is going to be moisturizing as well. Um, and again, it's like almost dried down, but it's not 100% dried down, down like the, my daughter just scared me, dried down like the Purito from yesterday. Did you make me a necklace? Yeah, that's your do you, necklace. Do you want to come show everyone? Oops, you dropped it. Do you want to come show everyone what you made? Whoa, Libby, it's beautiful. Oh, Thank you. Okay, Mama's almost done filming. I'll be right out, okay? I liked it for you. Libby, that is so thoughtful. That's very generous of you. Okay, I'll be out in just a minute, okay? Okay, sounds good. So this, again, is going to be an Asian sunscreen that I would definitely recommend. Again, of all the sunscreens I've tried now, and Asian sun sunscreens specifically, I've tried seven going to be my third favorite sunscreen so um, also the price point is great as well um, questions comments concerns put them in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed already and hit that notification bell and until tomorrow I hope everyone's doing well and I'll talk to you all soon